the last two years, I've always been home, spending time with the family, with the kids. Um, it's the hardest, the hardest thing, but at the end of the day, it's the motivation, man. It's like, I do all this for my, for my daughter. If it wasn't for my daughter, I don't know what I would have been doing. We get a phone call from Moses Vermont, and he has, uh, you know, he wants us to pay-per-view and do sort of like a storyline on Louis Colazzo. And Louis Colazzo was a WBA welterweight champion of the world who fought Ricky Hatton. He fought Andre Berto. Um, he won his title from Rivera. And, you know, the kid's a great fighter. He's here from New York. And they asked us if we wanted the pay-per-view. And, they, you know, we also wanted this storyline. And we, you know, I sat down with my team. And I thought it was a great concept. We put a script together. I called Moses back from Universal Boxing. And I told him, you know what, Moses, we could do it. trying to demonstrate what we're doing, but... Then we can sprint that way, do the opposite side, come back, do it again, do it again. One hour condition to do. Back, back, shooting for the stars, baby. Shooting for the stars. This is Benedict Tiger Field where the football um, team plays the college football here in South Carolina. We came to do some uh, stairs, some drills, that we, uh, so, some drills for conditioning. As you see, these stairs is no joke. We did it like two or three times. I'm just trying to build up my stamina. I've been out for a couple of uh, two years now. I'm just getting in shape, man. This first week of training, it's going awesome. I'm excited to come back. And 2011, 2012, and the future is gonna be great for Luis Galazzo and um, the team that I associated myself with at this time, um, UBG. Um, still got my trainer, Normal Lauren, what do you call boxing? Um, it's gonna be a great year for me, man. I, can just, I can't wait to, to April 13th to fight night. It's gonna be awesome, man. For those fans, stay tuned, man. Don't miss this. I don't wanna forget behind the ring, baby. Number one coming up. Stay tuned. You know what, I thank my father for that one. Um, he's a big uh, boxing fan. He took me to the gym. I wasn't big on it, I was into baseball, but once I stepped into to the gym, I never left since, and that's when I met Nermo. And we've been together since, man. He's like my, my stepdad, my father figure. And we gotta drive, we gotta drive this to, to the wheels fall off. We go to the gym right now, get ready. Do this boxing thing. Dig. I'm gonna do this marathon tomorrow, baby.
We're at White Rock Boxing Camp in South Carolina with Louis Colazzo. And this is his post, uh, the aftermath. We're gonna put some posters in here today for tomorrow's Golden Gloves. The Golden Gloves show here tomorrow. Be sure to catch Louis' next fight on BehindTheRing.com, April 13th. Into a, uh, a boxing gym, and I had Jerry Bell. Yeah. And uh, uh, Andrew Stokes is one of my best friends. He and I did used to promote boxing together when I, he and I was promoting together. But then I had to get some roofing business up, lined up good, keep you know keep everything intact. So I, Andrew went into the boxing full time, and I supported him 100. percent Right. And he brings Lou, he was a friend of Louie and Nermo and all of them. That's how I got to meet him through Andrew, of course. Andrew was a friend of mine, so he brought Lou in there and he introduced me to me. Now ah, they all got to be good friends. Uh, Walter Wade, you got Pacquiao, you got, um, I don't even say Berto, uh, the champion from, uh, Russia, I guess, Ukraine. Um, 154, I think, uh, Martinez is there, Cotto, you at. Um, it's some great, exciting fights, man, and, um, that's what I want to give. I want to give the fans the great, great fights, fights that they won't forget, because they know if Palaz is in a fight, it's gonna be entertaining, it's gonna be a, a fight they ain't gonna forget, maybe a fight of the year. And um, I just wanna give them the best fights out there, man. Right now I'm just taking a step by step, getting my feet wet. Um, I got a great team behind me now, management team. And I'm not in no rush, as long as they keep me busy, I'm ready to go and I take it day by day. And take it from there because can't be in a rush in this game either because you rush into something you might get stopped in your tracks so you got to be prepared mentally and physically so that they do come you get blow right through
fought with Luke Palazzo, putting a lot of pressure stuff, got an experience. I mean, his timing is coming along, and it's very good.